Well, this might look familiar. This is the Halloween version of the Santa's House by the Big Does, which I filmed before. I'll put the playlist below. This is their Halloween version, which is really cool. I think I can go over here. Normally, this is all blocked, but uh, I think I can get a little bit closer. That is cool. And um, their Christmas version, and I'll, I'll put my playlist for it down below, is much more extensive than this. But it's always so cool to see this. Imagine how much work. Oh, you remember those guys. I bet you they got them at Lowe's. That's the Reapers. That is awesome looking. I'm assuming I can come over here, but this part is not blocked, this part of the yard. Normally it is when they do the Christmas one. Maybe they want to give people a little bit more room to observe. Those skeletons there, they're so creepy, but they have eyes, like little TVs in their eyes. It's creepy, but cool. There's Jack Skellington over there. I'm going to show this from a couple different angles. I've met members of the family several times over the years. They're always extremely nice. Always answer my silly questions. Um, but they actually won. It was with a great Christmas light flight, a uh, light fight. Was it, was it ABC? Uh, they actually won one year for their Christmas display. And what they do here, especially for the Christmas version, but even just all this, is an extreme amount of work and planning. Don't think that, um, this is easy to do. Um, there's a lot of work, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of work and planning on this. But let's go walk around. I think I can go onto the driveway the way they have this. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not gonna get too close to the house. But I think the way this is blocked off, I think you can. Look at those things, that is cool over here these two dudes these are cool I saw them at, uh, at uh, Lowe's and I just I think they're so awesome looking and those things are expensive I guess to check out the Jack Skellington thing in a minute yeah we'll get a little closer But the amount of work and planning for this is immense. You gotta be really dedicated to this. I mean, when they do their Christmas one, I mean, it basically put, puts Clark Griswold to shame. There's just so much to it. Oh, look, I like that. Look up there. A little bit of Christmas Halloween type thing up there, which I think is cool. That is awesome. I'm sure I'm going to get copyright strikes for this, but well, that well, not strikes, but complaints or whatever. It's the music, but I don't care. This is cool, so I'm going to keep it all in. Let's do a couple of different angles. Let's go down here and check out the Jack Skellington thing. In a second. Let's get a, I want to get a picture of these guys close up. Also, I want to point out a whole bunch of these. No, not, not those, but like these. A lot of them, they actually hand make themselves from what I understand. So a lot of the stuff they put in here, they hand make. It just takes a lot of work. Let's go over there and check out the Jack Skellington. That is awesome. And I think he talks, too. I always love these Halloween animatronics. Look at that thing, it's big too. That is cool. I seen him talking earlier, I'm pretty sure he was. How tall. There's 
pretty awesome. They always do a great job with all this. Just gotta enjoy the ambiance of the moment. That is cool. Well, a good crowd. There's actually been several people that stopped here since I got here. I've been here about 15 minutes. Last time I came here, there was only maybe one or two. I came earlier in the season. Now, Halloween's only a few more days. I think I'm gonna get a little closer because I think this is why they have it like this so you can. Awesome. See a little, well, you can't see it, I can't, but maybe a little bit there. That's part of what's going to be for Christmas. That's going to be the lighted tree. Supposedly their electric bill is not too bad. So a lot of these are LEDs, but uh, these guys are cool. If they weren't so expensive, I'd actually buy these. You know, um, they would sing like, I love Halloween. I love the fog, it really adds to the ambiance. Okay, but this is it. I'm glad I came, I was able to come. Um, I'm going to do their Christmas version. I missed their Christmas version last year because my dog being sick and my mom being sick, I just couldn't come. But I definitely come to, I'm planning to come down and do this. I've done it for several years. Hey, right. any comments or questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I'm going to get going. So here it is. I showed it to you. Always awesome. Always awesome. Always enjoy myself. I was just talking to a member of the family, asking him some questions. I don't want to bother him with putting him on camera, but I did interview him a few years ago. Well, actually, more than a few years ago now. He'll be in my playlist if you want to learn more about it. But yeah, like you said, a lot of the, he was saying a lot of the lights like on the house they use for Christmas too. You could program to do different holidays and colors. Those guys there, I told you from Lowe's. He actually changed the program and on, so they actually um, plays along with that music, which is really cool because that makes it even a cooler factor because this is a little thing they did at Lowe's I thought was interesting, but just the way that they added to it, yeah. And I asked about those skeleton guys. They break up into like 15 pieces, so they're not too heavy, but I bet all together they pretty are. And, they're, they're, and he kind of confirmed it, they're about $300 a piece, so well, they're expensive. A lot of those animatronics, they're, they're quite a bit of money. And there's, think about it, there's a, not just a lot of work with regard to physically doing this and planning, but this is a massive investment. There's a lot of money over years, I'm sure, to purchase all this and build it and maintain it. And then while the electricity is probably not that bad because it's a lot of this LEDs, it's still quite a bit here. All right, I'm going to go, but I'll be back for Christmas time. And if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. Thanks for watching. Bye, buddy. Bye. All right, we're just going to drive by and um, show you what it looks like just driving by. But um, I talked to a member of the family. He's always super nice. He answered all my questions. And I had a lot of them. And I, there's many more I could ask. But there's so much more going into this than you think. It's really cool.
I can't wait to see the Christmas version. That's awesome. All right, cool. And they do follow my channel, which I think is very cool. That's what he said. But yeah, enjoy it. And um, when the Christmas version starts, which I think will be in November, I will be back to film that and show you it all. It. All right, this is it. I promise. Any questions, comments, put them below. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.